Mango State, they beat UNLV in the Mountain West Tournament, their first game of this tournament. I believe it's the 17th consecutive year that they have been able to advance in the Mountain West Tournament, in the Conference Tournament. So, I mean, that's very impressive. Shout out John Schaefer, by the way, for providing that stat. Um, so, yeah, when you look at it from a zoomed-out view, for the program to do this, like, that's hard to do. I don't care what conference you're playing in. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's impressive. But... For this Aztecs team right now, come on. You can't sit here and tell me that this is a Final Four team, that this is an Elite Eight team, that this is even a, a Sweet 16 team. They could start playing well, and all it takes is them to have, you know, a good shooting game and then get their confidence back, and then they go. But this was another one where Jane Ledee saves the day, scores over 30 points, huge rebound late. Some big free throws. I think he made 11 free, definitely double digits in the free throws today. But this shooting, I mean, 19 points is what they should have scored in the first half. You look at the box score and it's 22 because UNLV made the dumb mistake. Instead of just passing it short, they passed it right to um, Darion Trammell. And Trammell makes a good shot, like a, a one-handed floater three. But, like, that shouldn't have happened. And you go to overtime, San Diego State shouldn't have been in overtime. They shouldn't have won this game. Micah Parrish didn't make a three-pointer today. And I'm sitting there like, why is Micah Parrish still in this game? But then I go after the game and look at the box score, and it's not like Reese Waters did that much better. I think he was one for seven from the field today. So Dutch is probably sitting there like, well, I don't really know who to go to. I, I don't have much confidence in either guy shooting-wise right now. So it's just tough. I mean – They've got to be able to shoot better. And defense, yeah, like that's obviously San Diego State's calling card, but they've got to be able to score points. There are teams that would have definitely put away the Aztecs, and they wouldn't have made the dumb decision at the end of the first half, and they would have been up by eight, UNLV, or the opponent that was, wasn't UNLV, let's say, right? Up by eight at halftime, and San Diego State, who knows what happens there if they're playing someone else. They were lucky to be playing a UNLV team. And, by the way, it was like a wide-open three there to force to a double overtime. And so I give props to, uh, I think, Deedon Thomas Jr. was his name. I'll give props to him for some of the moments that he had in this game, for sure. Uh, the two missed free throws from Parrish, and then to make that shot as he's falling down to force it to overtime. I mean, that was just an amazing play. Uh, but UNLV is not one of the best teams in the country. This is not a team that you would think they're not even going to make the, are they going to make the Mount, uh, not the Mount West tournament, the NCAA tournament? I don't think so. If they are, I'll correct myself in the description when I go look at like the, the latest NCAA tournament rankings. Um, and the net and all that. But, I mean, this is – it was not an encouraging win. It was a win that they shouldn't have even won. But, you know, Jane Ledee showed up big, and UNLV gave San Diego State this game, in my opinion. Um, so, Aztecs fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments. The good news is they get uh, Utah State tomorrow night. You know, that they still get another opportunity to – have a good shooting game and get that confidence. But right now, I don't have much confidence in this Aztecs team. But that's why they play these games. It's it's not played on paper. You play them on the court. And so wild things have happened. I was not expecting them to be a Final Four national championship team, um, national championship game, obviously, appearance team last year, and they did that. Um, and so hopefully they surprise and – Aztecs fans can be super happy again, you know, later this month and in early April, but right now it's not looking that great.